Okay, we're going to be jumping straight into this video right here, guys, showcasing how to essentially play UI Goku early. Um, and this is something that everybody can do, whether or not they have bought the DLC, the season pass, or not. Basically, the games have up, or the game has updated on all consoles, PC, um, as well, Xbox, of course, and PS4. Now, it has not come to Switch yet at this point in time. The update supposedly is dropping tomorrow on Switch. But all the other three, the update is out and available at this point in time. So once the update comes out, it throws UI Goku into the random pool of the uh, the courses in arcade mode basically he can randomly show up as an opponent and that is how you are going to have the chance to actually play against the man it's not like you just load in and you're automatically playing ui goku or anything like that honestly that's what my dumbass thought when i first saw the whole like glitch thing where you were using genyu and taking them into the random hyperbolic time chamber extreme gravity course or anything like that in the arcade mode i literally thought since you were on Genyu, like it was just like a glitch to where he was UI Goku for some reason in the arcade mode. That's not the case. Again, my dumbass was clearly a dumbass. But what you basically want to do is go into one of these. I suggest choosing Hyperbolic Time Chamber because it gives you the most stages. And then once you do, guys, you want to look for where UI Goku is on this map right here. Wherever UI Goku is, as you see, I don't think he popped up at all for me. So basically what you're going to want to do is back out at that point in time because there is no guarantee of actually going up against UI Goku in this round. He can randomly be on any team I come across, but the way to guarantee it is by seeing him as an actual team leader and then you'll know which path you want to take to make sure that you at least get one battle through the seven with UI Goku so you can test them out. So yes, it does involve RNG and it does involve some patience, but at the same time, it'll give you the ability to be able to actually play the character again before he comes out and before you even buy him. Now, some people may know of this already. Um, this is my first time ever using anything like this, and I know there are some out there who definitely do not know of this, so I do hope that this video helps you guys out. Again, we're loading back in, looking for a UI Goku. As you see, he's on the second row, and he's the third matchup. So within the first match, I want to win this, win this one clearly, right? But then after that, I'm purposely going to want to do bad or average at best to stay on that row right there and make sure that I encounter the man. So what I'm about to do, guys, is basically, like, not necessarily throw the matches because I do have to win them, but get poor grades on purpose and come back when we're actually going up against UI Goku. All right, guys, as you see, I was actually lucky enough to get him in a random match before he actually popped up or actually got to his, like, character on the board. You see, he's right now in the third slot, and this was up against an Android 18, who I thought was just going to be a regular match that I was going to run through in route to him. But again, as you see, he is in that third slot, so these are the two ways to be able to play and fight against him. He can pop up randomly in any battle, or again, if he is actually on the board, you want to try and go for that spot on the board to guarantee you play against him. Now, when he's not in that first spot, what you want to do essentially is rack up three bars. Okay, I was hoping the computer might let me charge. I don't know why I was. Damn, I'm blocking on that. But rack up three bars. And then after you rack up three bars, like I wouldn't even suggest trying to do max damage. Honestly, I shouldn't have done all that jump canceling and all that. But we got three bars now. So now all I want to do is 2H Android 18 or just get her in a situation where I can switch in the grab. Not cooler. Okay, it's like I'm trying to try for this 2H so hard that it's not working. Hold up, let's get our HP back. And switch into UI Goku. And then, of course, now you're going to try and get the... We're going to try and get the body change off. Come here, UI. Come here, UI. Give me that body, my boy. And that, essentially, guys, is how you are able to play UI Goku early on before the actual DLC comes out. Now you see I'm using him, I'm jumping all that. I'm able to actually use him, test him out, try him for myself. And this is actually gonna be the first time I try him after we cut this video out right here. But again, I just wanted to showcase this for you guys to show you essentially how to play UI Goku before the actual DLC comes out and how to play him for free at the same time to test him out for yourself to see if he's a character you actually wanna buy. Even though based off what we've seen, this should be a character that literally 
everybody wants to buy and purchase and play with on this game because he is looking like someone we've never really seen in a fighting game ever at this point in time. So again, man, hope this video does help you guys out. Let me know if it does down below in the comments. Shout out to everybody who was sharing this from the Chinese and Japanese side when they were playing him early, all things like that. Um, but till next time, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, hope you enjoyed. And as always, hope you have a good day. Peace, y'all.